Hello guys, my name is Mathur and welcome to my channel. This is the 33rd tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we're going to learn to play with strings. And uh, what I mean by that is we're going to prepare a shell script that's going to have a few string variables. And then we learn to compare those variables. And um, what I mean by that is that we're going to learn to see if the first string variable is the same as the second string variable or if the variables are different or if uh, a variable is a null variable that is if its length is zero or if its length is greater than zero we're going to learn to do all that and um, this is going to be a long tutorial so i won't talk and waste time instead i have my text editor here and i've saved this file in my home folder i've given it the name string hyphen test on the first line i'm going to put a comment string checks and uh, on uh, the third line uh, I'm gonna create a string variable I'm, I'm gonna give it the name str1 right I'll use the equal to symbol and double quotation marks to assign text to it and uh, I'm just gonna type in uh, something hey you maybe and uh, on the next line I'll create another string variable I'll give it the name str2 put the equal to symbol and assign text to it again uh, what's up remember uh, if you put a character within double quotes then it doesn't have any special significance to the shell so you can basically use uh, any character that you have on your keyboard right as long as the characters are within double quotes uh, please keep that in mind and on the next line I'm gonna create a null variable and that is I'm gonna put an equal to symbol immediately after the variable name and I'm gonna press the enter key right so that's one way of creating a null variable the other way is if uh, you put double quotation marks but don't put anything within the double quotation marks that would also create a null variable so there you go these are the three variables we're gonna have in the script and uh, now I'm gonna run a check to see if my first string is same as the second string right and the way I do that is by using uh, square brackets and within the square brackets I'll have the test dollar str1 is equal to dollar str2 and since these are strings and uh, since we want the shell to treat them as strings we'll have to put double quotes here as well okay and uh, well I'm not gonna put any code after it right so if these two strings are same then we would just want to know whether they're same or not and that we can do by viewing the exit status of this uh, test and uh, to view the exit status again I would have to echo out the system variable dollar question mark on screen and uh, those of you who haven't uh, followed this course and those of you who don't know what exit status is uh, you can watch uh, one of my previous tutorials in which I've discussed exit status you can uh, find the tutorial in the playlist all right and uh, the next test that we're going to do is uh, going to be to check if the strings are different and again I'm going to put my first string within uh, double quotes str1 but this time instead of using the equal to symbol I'm going to use uh, the exclamation symbol first and then the equal to symbol so this combination stands for not equal to right and I'll give a space and put the name of my second variable which is str2 in double quotes again and a space after the second variable ends and a space before the first variable begins and again I'll use a echo dollar question mark to view the exit status okay the next check is gonna be to see if uh, the length of uh, any of the first two strings is greater than zero or not and the way I do that is by using the option hyphen n and then uh, my string which would again go in uh, double quotation marks and I'll just uh, use string one here you can use string two as well right because both are not null strings and uh, again echo dollar question mark to view the exit status and the last test in this uh, script is going to be to see if uh, the final string is a null string or not and dollar uh, str3 the option that you use within your square brackets to check for the length of a string to be zero is hyphen z okay so that's something you have to keep in mind and again we view the exit status dollar question mark so I'll save the script file and I'll bring up my terminal and uh, I'll execute it string hyphen test 
dot sh. Now, in case you've forgotten, I'll remind you again that if a test evaluates to true, that is, if uh, a check is executed and if it is found to be successful, then the exit status is zero. And if it is found to be unsuccessful or false, then the exit status is one, right? So let, let us first view the output and then match the output with the checks. So the output is one, zero, 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 and there are four tests in our uh, script file. The first test is to see if uh, the first string is the same as the second string. Well, is it? The first string is hey you, the second string is what's up. So they're obviously different strings, right? So this had to be one or false. So that is what we have here. We have one as the first uh, line in the output. The second check was to see if the strings are different. Well, of course they are different. So uh, the test should evaluate to true or the exit status should be zero. And what is the exit status? It is indeed zero, right? And uh, what do we have as a third test? The third test is to see if the length of string one is greater than zero or not equal to zero, whatever. And um, that is of course true again. So the exit status had to be zero. And what is it? It's indeed zero, right? It's right here. You guys can see it. And the last check is to check whether the length of string three is zero or not. And that again has to evaluate to true. So the final test uh, gives us the output zero, right? So if I would uh, make some changes here, such as uh, if I would put str3 instead of str1 uh, here, then uh, this test would uh, give us different output. Why? Because it would check whether the length of str3 is greater than zero or not. And that is not the case because str3 is a null variable. So this test would evaluate to false. And the third output, instead of being uh, zero, would be one. So let me see if I've saved the file. Well, of course I have. So I'll execute the script again. And now you can see that the third row has uh, one instead of uh, zero. So there you go. Uh, this was a pretty dumb shell script. It didn't do anything meaningful. But the purpose behind uh, making the shell script was not to uh, entertain you guys or maybe that was but you know it definitely wasn't to uh, you know do anything meaningful the purpose was to make you guys familiar with string checks and uh, to discuss with you guys how you can uh, play with your strings in your shell scripts and then you know uh, branch control or you know uh, put these string checks within if statements and execute you know um, codes of your choice so you know there are a lot of things you can do with this knowledge uh, so you know I hope you guys had uh, fun watching this tutorial and uh, in the next tutorial we'll discuss something interesting again so please uh, stick with me in this course and uh, I hope to see you in the next tutorial thank you so much for watching this one and please subscribe to my channel